Hey everyone and welcome back to Daily Tuition. In this video, we are going to talk about what is this keyword in JavaScript. I got a request from my subscriber to explain what is this keyword, so I decided to make this video. Most of the beginner use this keyword in their program, but don't know the actual use of it. They don't know what is the benefit of using this keyword in a simple or complex program. So let me explain what is this keyword and why we use it to simplify the work. So the first question comes in your mind is what is this keyword? So what if I say you're using this keyword since a childhood? You use this keyword many times. So let me explain where did you use it? When you were in school, you would take your mother or father to meet the school teacher for a parents meeting. And suddenly someone asks you, who's this? You answer him with a very polite manner. This is my father. So did you notice we use this keyword to refer to our father. We use this keyword to show reference of our father. So the same way JavaScript uses this keyword. It takes this keyword to refer to its parents. So let's take a very small example to understand this keyword. I hope this example will clear your all doubts. So let's create a simple object right here. So if I just create an object, parents, and this object has few properties. The first property is father name. The name of the father is John. Then the father has a child and the child name is Mac. So as I said in the example, someone asks you, who's this? You answer that question, this is my father. So I just created a method here and return this is my father. Now if you execute it, you're going to get this is my father on a console, right? So if someone asks you who's this, you simply reply it with this sentence. But now, what if I change this return statement and instead of printing the hard-coded value, I'm going to just print here this keyword. So now here, this is refers to your parents. So when I save the changes, at this point, this is refers to the parent. So this will print an object because you still didn't reveal your father name. To reveal your father name, you're going to put here a dot and just specify father name. And once you've done that and save the changes, the output should be as expected. You're going to get a result on a console, John is my father. Now at this point, this is refers to your parents. So in this example, we use this keyword to refer to these parents. It means we use this keyword to refer to its parent object. So I'm going to have here a parent object and the parent name. So we use here this dot parent name. Now, depending on its use, this keyword has different values. In this example, we use this keyword in a method, right? You can see here, we just created a method and we use this keyword inside this method. So that is why this keyword is refers to the parent object. So what if we use this keyword globally? So if I just get rid of this statement and print a global statement console.log in the parenthesis, I'm going to have this keyword. So now what would be the result? If I save the changes, we have window object in the console. So at this point, this is refers to its parents. It means it refers to its window object. So if you use this keyword globally, it refers to the global object. Now let's see what if you use this keyword in a function. So I'm going to get rid of this statement and I'm going to just create here a simple function and just print a console.log and in the parenthesis, I'm going to have this. And I'm going to just call that function using a parenthesis. Now what if I save the changes? So when I save the changes, I'm going to have a window object on the console. Now what if you enable strict mode of JavaScript? So if I just say here, use strict and save the changes, I'm going to have undefined on the console. So there are various ways to use this keyword. So I'm going to just get rid of this use strict and just save the changes. So we have here a window as a parent of this keyword. This keyword is also can be useful to work with events. In events, this is refers to an element. Now, for example, if I have here index.html file and if I just create here a button and I'm going to just create on click event to that button with console.log and specify this keyword inside a parenthesis. What happens when I click on this button? Let me just save the changes and as you can see, we have this button here. I'm going to just get rid of this statement. Now what happened when I click on this button? When I click on it, I'm going to have an element on the console. So at this point, this is refers to an element, right? 
So this is also a very useful way to use this keyword. So as I said, there is various way to use this keyword depending on its use. Once we know that how to use this keyword, let me explain why should we use it in a simple and a complex program. So to understand how this keyword is useful, we're going to take a very simple example. So as you can see, I have here a simple function car and I'm going to just return this dot name. So at this time, I'm going to create a property name of this keyword. So when I save the changes, you can see I don't have anything here because inside this name property, I don't have anything. So if I just get rid of this name and execute the program, I'm going to have a window object on the console. Now we have the global object here inside this keyword. Let me just create a property to this window. So I'm going to say here name. So we're just going to create a name property to this window object. When I save the changes, I'm not going to get anything here because we don't have any value to this name property. So let's specify something to this name value. So I'm going to create here a variable let name is equal to and I'm going to specify a string value bmw. And when I save the changes, I'm going to have that value on the console. So this will print bmw on the console. So we just specify a name property to the global object. Now, if you just take a look at the global object, you're going to get this name property to that object. So if I just simply get rid of this car and just specify here this, then you will see you have a global property name to your window object. So if you just take a look at the window object, you can see here you have this name property here, right? Now, just out of that, I'm going to just get rid of this keyword from the console and just paint a car here. What if I want to change the reference of this keyword? So at this point, this is refers to the global object. I want to change this global object and specify my own. And so just after this variable, I'm going to create here two objects. This is my first obj1 and I'm going to have here a name property and a car property and this car property as a function right and just out of that we're also going to have object 2 with the name property tesla and i'm going to have a car property with a function reference now what i want i want to change this global reference and specify my own object so i'm going to just specify my own object right here so if i just say here obj1 dot car so i'm going to execute this car function using this obj object then what would be the result when I save the changes, you can see I have this Audi on my console. Now, what is happening here? So at this point, this keyword is refers to the object 1. Now, what if I change this object 1 to object 2 like this? And when I save the changes, I'm going to have Tesla on the console. I'm going to just change the reference of this keyword from object 1 to object 2. Now, if you just duplicate this sentence, so if I just press Alt Shift down, and if I just say here object one and save the changes, I'm going to have Audi and Tesla on the console. Now at this point, we need to take a look at these objects. Now in this sentence, this is refers to object one. And at this point, this is refers to object two. So using this keyword, we don't have to manually specify an object to specify a property name. So using just a this keyword, I can access different object properties. To understand this better, I'm going to just get rid of this name property and just specify here return this. Now when I save the changes, I'm going to have here two object. Now at the first line, you can see this is refers to the first object. And the second line, you can see this keyword is refers to the second object. We don't have to specify object manually. Now let me give you a very useful tip when you're using this keyword. Now whenever you use this keyword and you don't know the reference of this keyword, just simply put a console.log and inside it just type this. Using this sentence, you're going to understand the reference of this keyword. Once you know the reference of this keyword, you can write error free code. So that's it. I hope you understand what is this keyword in JavaScript in a very simple way. I hope you like this video so don't forget to like and share it. Subscribe for more latest videos. If you have any question ask me in the comment. That is all for now. I will see you in the next one.